Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to make a program to find most non zero zero in a matrix. In this program, we are going to create a matrix by taking inputs from the user and then we'll check each row for least amount of zeros in it and then print that row. So first we'll execute our code. So it is asking for rows, how many rows you want in your matrix, then two. Then it will ask for columns, we'll again give two. Then it asks for elements. So at zero, zero, we'll give one. At zero, one, we'll give two. At one, zero, we'll give zero. And at one, one, we'll give three. And row with the most non-zero element is one, two. Because in second row, we have zero in it. So let's get back to our code. At first, we have defined a function with name non underscore zero, and then we have passes and parameter name matrix. Then we have declared two variables max underscore count and max underscore row. Max counts keeps the track of the maximum count of non zero elements found so far, and max row stores the row with the maximum count. Then for checking each row in the matrix, we have used the for loop, the for row in matrix, the code. Now this code checks the counts of non-zero elements in the current row using the generator expression and the sum function. Now, now what does this expression do? The expression one for lm in row if lm not equal to zero it's basically generates a sequence of one for each element in row and if the element is not equal to zero so if the element is not equal to zero in the row then the element itself will generate a sequence of one and this one is add up by the sum to give the count of non zero elements and after that if if this count is greater than max underscore count then the value of count will get stored in this max underscore count and the row will get stored in the max underscore row and then it will return the max underscore row now Till here, we have created the function for checking the rows for the least amount of zeros in it. Now we'll create our matrix. For that, we have taken two variables, rows and calls. And we have taken input for the rows and columns. And to convert that input into integer, we have used this int function. And then we have created our matrix. And then for entering our elements, we have using the for loop. So for i in range rows, so basically this line, so for i in range rows, range takes three attributes, where to start, where to stop and steps. So by default, a range starts from zero. So it is starting from zero and it will end till this input when the user will give this input to two so this will run till then only and a row is created inside this row now for the columns we have again taken a loop inside the first first for loop so for j in range columns it will also start from zero and it will end till the user input that will user give in the, inside this call then it will ask for the elements so now for storing the elements we are taking input and at which position for that we are giving here i and j this i and j we are using this so that the user should know at which position he is giving what element and storing this elements in this element variable we have declared now we want to store this element in our row 
for that we are using the append function so so row dot append and we are giving this element inside this element now we have created our row now we want to store our row in the matrix so for that will come out of our column loop and then inside the row loop will give matrix dot append and then we'll give the row then this row will get stored then this row will get stored in this matrix till here our matrix is, has been created now we want to print our matrix in a formatted way for that we are again using a for loop so for row in matrix and we are printing our row so like this our matrix will get printed now we are declaring our now we are calling our function non underscore zero and the argument matrix and we are storing this function calling inside this variable result and then we are printing the result with row with most non zero element is result and now we'll execute our program again to see how it's working then you can see clearly enter the number of row in the matrix 3 then again it will ask for the enter the number of columns in the matrix then it will give 3 then it will ask the position it will give you a 1 then 2 then 0 and 2 0 0 4 7 9 and then our then then our matrix is get printed and then the row with the most non zero element is 479 as you can see the first row has one zero in it the second row has two zero in it and the third row has no zeros so it's get printed thank you for seeing the video we'll see you in the next video